Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode. Today, yeah. <laughs> today, she flew all the way in from California just to go hunting this morning. It's crazy. What a, she's die hard, loves it, wants to kill everything. She's a straight killer. Uh, <laughs> Quite literally, first hunt ever, uh, and that's really what we're going out for. I will be sitting in the blind by myself, just off the, off the food plots over here, just for convenience sake. They will be in the tree stands out in the oaks today, so hopefully they see deer. That's all I'm asking for. Let's just hopefully we can put the newbie on some deer. That'll be really exciting and fun for her, so that's really all today is all about. We're going to go hunt in the morning, we're going to go trail riding, bringing you guys along for as much as, as I can. So let's uh, it's so cold. It's 30, 39 degrees, feels like 35 outside. So it's gonna be a cold sit this morning. Let's uh, let's get out there and freeze our butts off for a few hours. Hopefully, see some deer. As I sport a toe warmer, goes on your toes. I don't put them on the way you're supposed to put them. It is so much more comfortable that way though. I hate things under my feet. While we're all set up, I walked Marilyn and Cindy out to their stand this morning. Also, the wind's kind of swirling today is what I just realized. So, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not too concerned with spooking any deer uh, this early in the season. For one, there's no big bucks on camera. So I'm not concerned with one of them showing up and get spooked today. Um, I just want I just want them to see some deer. So I also figured out that I I need to get that rubber flooring in here like ASAP because it's I mean every little move you make it's so loud. I also don't suggest sitting over one of your money food plots this early in the season either. But I want to be close to where they are in case they need something. So. Yeah, the wind is blowing all over the place right now. That's what I need to keep happening as it's going that way. But I felt it blow right into the woods here too a couple times. We'll see. It's below 40 degrees in September. You never know what will happen. Hopefully we see some deer. But I'm going to shut up now and, and we'll see see how things go. Do a couple practice pulls in here because I don't know how it's going to go. If I'm going to stay sitting or if I'm going to have to stand up. We'll see. Just trying to pet and see if it was a squirrel or a deer. Well, 
it was a deer. I couldn't tell. It was still too early. I couldn't tell if it had antlers or not until it was too far. After I finished setting up, then I look at my phone and Aaron has already texted me and said, you know, big buck, stand up. But I was already standing. I was just stuck because I had no idea where the buck was after that. It walked past Marilyn, but they weren't set up yet. something I look and there's just antlers sticking out of the weeds. Here come all the dogs. This morning's a wind. The wind is steady now. It's just been blowing that way, which is perfect. An incredible morning already. I've had multiple deer look right up at us, not see us. That's good. I was iffy about the backdrop of this blind, but it seems like we're good. That little buck just walked right behind me. I think a lot of our scent settles in this blind. I just need a door. Seeing him in person, I'm gonna pass that buck up all year. Hopefully, Dad or Marilyn can get him. If not, hopefully he survives. Either way, but it was so cool. He's making a scrape already, rubbing the trees. 
I'm so excited. This cold that we have this morning, I'm already so excited for November. This is, just, this is awesome. This is, I hope Cindy and Marilyn see some more deer though, because that's what we brought her out for, is to see deer. So. But regardless, what a morning, man. Let's hope for some more. I suppose now is a good time as any to give you guys my goals on the year so that you know what to expect when uh, you click on one of my videos. One is just to learn lessons from last year. Entry, exit, not spooking deer, getting in on time, things like that. That's, that's my number one thing I'm working on. Number two, my target. I am going to take a, a doe, maybe a couple out this year. Probably one here early season with a bow at some point and then uh definitely one during rifle season so we should definitely see some doe killing happen this year and then my final goal is a buck bigger than the one i have on the wall now so that's probably going to be a four and a half five-year-old deer and to me it's going to be a monster um in terms of the youtube hunting world it's you know they're not going to be that massive but I'm looking for a 120 plus buck. Nothing, nothing crazy, but like that buck this morning that we have on camera, this guy. Now that I saw him in person, um, that's for Marilyn and Dad, and any bucks around his size would be for Marilyn and Dad. They they both need their first buck with a bow, so you know, they're not setting their sights on on anything massive. But if he's around enough, one of them will get a chance at it for sure. But I figured I'd let you guys know that's my goal for this year is to shoot a 120, 130, nothing massive, but a big buck, one worthy of mounting and a couple of does. So I'm hoping to capture and film Marilyn's first deer with a bow, dad's first deer with a bow. That's what I'm most excited for. If I don't kill anything, but they do, that'll be a huge success this year. And then the final thing that I, I'm going to concentrate on this year is how to improve for next year. So sitting in these stand locations and hunting a new chunk of property this year, it'll be all about learning, finding those patterns, figuring out when the deer are coming through, where they're coming through, so that the next year is even more successful than this one. I said it at the end of the debrief this year. This year's all about redemption. Anyway, what a place to, what a morning to give you guys the, the lowdown on the season and what to expect this year. Hopefully we can be successful. Hopefully we can get uh, some big bucks on the ground for you guys. It'll be, it'll be exciting. So. We're in the woods and it, it being so cold this morning. I am just fired up for the rest of the year already. I'm just so excited for October to get here for all these leaves to drop. I'm so pumped. And that's gonna do it for today's episode. I'm just kinda waiting to see. I'm sure it's overexposed, but I'm just waiting to see if anything comes over this hill and goes out into that cornfield. I wanted to sit tonight, but the wind wasn't right for the stands that I wanted to sit in, the side of the property I wanted to sit in, so. Still early enough. I'm gonna get out of here in a few minutes and get out of here in a few minutes and go, uh, go home and prep for the week, so. Man, were we so close this weekend. The buck we have on camera showed itself within bow range to two of us. Marilyn wasn't ready and it didn't step out far enough for me. The next night, on well, the next morning, he stepped out into that food plot. So it would have been too early. That would have been when we were getting in the blind. So, you know, we would have spooked him if we would have went hunting. The next morning he was, he was right there. But Here's to hoping some more and bigger bucks start coming through. Uh, I just circled around the block here about two miles away. Um, that's where a lot of the bucks summer. We see them feeding when the beans are green and stuff like that. And then 
slowly throughout October and then into November, we get big buck after big buck. Um, there were none out in the field yet. Tonight, soon, Dad will be getting out there with his crossbow. Marilyn will be out there more often this year. Uh, hopefully, we can get one of those two that buck. And uh, hopefully, it's soon because he's summered here. So I'm assuming in the next like two and a half, three weeks, he's gonna he's gonna up and disappear on us. Is what I'm assuming. At that point, we will take the roulette wheel of bucks that hopefully come through the property at that point. But I'm rambling too much. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see you in the woods. Everyone say hi to Cindy. <laughs> First time ever gonna go sit in the woods for fun. For fun. <laughs> Shoot Bambi.